Hi everyone, this is Mani and welcome back to SK SecOps channel. And today we are going to understand what is blue green deployment. Blue green deployment is a release strategy that reduces downtime and risk by running two identical environments. One is blue and other is green. On the right, you can see some set of servers for blue environment and some other set of servers for green environment. The blue environment is currently live and running with version 1 of Python application. This setup can be used in both on-premise and as well as in cloud environments. Let's see how blue environment is serving the traffic. On the left, you can see some users who are sending a request through domain. These requests will reach the DNS then DNS will forward them to the load balancer. Then the load balancer routes 100% of the traffic to the blue environment to the multiple servers. And then where multiple servers handle the load and send back responses to the users. Let's see how we deploy to the green environment. A developer finishes version 2 of the code and pushes it to GitHub. Then DevOps team is notified and they prepare the green environment by setting up servers and deploy the version 2. The DevOps team alerts the monitoring team who closely monitors the green environment. Once everything is ready in the green environment, then the traffic is gradually shifted from the blue to the green environment using automation tools by the DevOps team. During this process, if there are any issues in the environment or if something goes wrong during monitoring, the DevOps team will immediately roll back the traffic to the blue environment. If everything works well, the blue environment is taken down and 100% of the traffic is directed to the green environment which is having the version 2 and now the green environment is live. Now green becomes the new blue running version 2. Let's discuss when to use and when we should avoid blue green deployment. So let's discuss first when to use blue green. So if, we, if there is a need for zero downtime critical applications, then definitely we can go with the blue green deployment. And also if you want to have some instant rollbacks in case of any failures, in that situation also we can go with the blue green deployment. And when we should not go, so if we are worried about any cost, then we should not go with the blue green deployment because here we are creating two identical environments and we are duplicating the infrastructure. So if we are really worried about the cost, so then we should not go with the blue green deployment. Thank you for watching this video. If you really like this video, click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for further notification. That's all. Thank you so much.